Super Mario Galaxy, and its sequel Super Mario Galaxy 2, are among the greatest 3D platformers ever made. However, despite many similarities between the two titles, debate about which is superior has been a hot topic among Nintendo faithful for a few years now, and for good reason. The Galaxy games are ripe for comparison. Entire videos have been dedicated to measuring the two titles against one another in an attempt to find the greater game. However, the most intriguing topic discussed in this bid to determine the better Galaxy game is the mention of innovation and freshness being in favor of the original title. But how much can a game's greatness or quality be ascribed to the scope of its innovation and novelty? How much credit should a sequel receive for refining said innovations? This is not your typical category-by-category -category breakdown of two video games. I won't be talking about tone, structure, or any other factors external from the core gameplay. This is an exploration of how much weight innovation should carry in the critique and comparison of media through the gameplay and level design of the Galaxy games. This is innovation versus refination. To set the stage for this discussion, let's take it out of the realm of preference. Let's say, no matter how untrue, that both Super Mario Galaxy and Galaxy 2 are as theoretically perfect as they can be. The only difference now remaining is that Galaxy 1 was released three years prior to its successor. Is Galaxy 1 now the superior game on the basis of its greater innovation and novelty to Galaxy 2? Let's explore this idea from two different perspectives. Super Mario Galaxy should be considered superior to its sequel on the basis of its greater achievements in the 3D platforming genre. Playing games is an experience, and the novelty and freshness of innovative mechanics greatly factors into player satisfaction and engagement. In the context of Galaxy, it was the introduction of the gravity mechanic and creativity and level design generated from said mechanic that made it such a memorable experience for players. It even drew comparison to Super Mario 64 by many critics at the time due to its wow factor. Galaxy 2 lacks such a factor in its favor upon play due to how heavily it borrows its core mechanics and design philosophy from the original. Simply put, Galaxy 2 is unavoidably more of the same and less impactful than its predecessor. Innovation is not synonymous, nor should it be confused with quality. A subjective interpretation of novelty should have no place in a comparison of objective quality. Games should be evaluated in a vacuum, judged on equal terms, and in that regard Galaxy 2 greatly outstrips its predecessor. Not only does Galaxy 2 refine and tune the original mechanics to near perfection, it takes them to even greater heights through its smarter and more sophisticated level design. A game should never be considered greater than another based solely on the evaluations of innovation. To do so would disregard the fruits of progress made between iterations. Evaluating games in a vacuum is not an ideal approach to either critique or comparison. Games are not made in isolated vacuums, and the context of a game's creation and release is integral to determining its accomplishments and quality through evaluation, especially in the case of sequels. Yes. Galaxy 2 does utilize much of the original title's untapped potential, but how can it not be judged relative to its predecessor when so much of its path was paved by it? Galaxy 1, despite being a totally original title, managed to create an experience already near perfect with its mechanics. Could the amount of refination achieved in Galaxy 2 even compare to the accomplishment of not just the creation of Galaxy 1's gravity mechanics, but the level of quality it reached on its first attempt? Galaxy 1 may accomplish an impressive level of quality alongside its innovations, but innovation fades over time, and after such innovation has faded from the minds of players, all that is left is quality. Refinement, optimization, and polished mechanics remain refined, optimized, and polished. Galaxy 2 is a more refined and higher quality product gameplay-wise. It was given the opportunity to raise the bar Galaxy 1 left even higher, and it did so with flying colors. At the end of the day, a better designed game is simply a better designed game, no matter if an original or a sequel. As you can see, this debate isn't as clear cut as it seems, but in the end it almost always comes down to one thing. The definition of greatness, or what makes a game greater than another. 
For some people, greatness lies on an objective scale of quality. Which favors refinement over innovation, in which case Galaxy 2 has a decent edge over its predecessor. For others, the absence of acknowledging the magnitude of certain accomplishments in such a mathematical and calculated outlook seems unfavorable to those seeking new and exciting experiences. There is no correct answer. This is a debate that will continue as long as people are alive and remember these games. But an understanding of our and others' arguments, along with the implications they carry, is integral to productive and meaningful conversation, even if it is about a plumber in space. Thanks for watching.